Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 1, 18 to 24. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. Quiet quitting. Do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Quiet quitting is a new post-pandemic term, which means moving ourselves off the scene, withdrawing our enthusiasm without leaving our job. It's doing the bare minimum. In Matthew's Christmas story, Joseph tried to move away from God's plan without ceasing to be a believer. Then God's angel said to him, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. It was then that he realized that he was essential to God's plan. I must ask myself in what area of my life have I tried to quietly quit from God? Where do I see myself as absolutely unessential like Joseph? When did God send a reminder that I am, in fact, essential to his plan and should not be afraid to take Mary home as my wife? It may be that some of us feel that we are unessential to our children in our roles as parents or unessential in our roles as spouses. I pray, whatever it may be, that we come to hear the voice of God's angel saying to us, do not be afraid. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.